What's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be describing how to buy a phone in China. So when you first come to China, I'm sure one of the first things you want to get is a Chinese phone, especially if you want to do business in China and get Chinese phone numbers. So I'm going to break this video down to two categories. The first category is if you want a Chinese phone with a Chinese SIM card and Chinese mobile data. And the second category is if you want a Chinese SIM card with your already purchased phone from your home country, which can be done as well. So if you want a Chinese phone, you can just simply go to one of the approved stores in China that you can see in all the shopping malls and the city centers are actually really easy to find. The major brands in China that you can buy phones from are Oppo, Huawei, Xiaomi, and Apple. Now when you go into the store, make sure you do bring your passport because they may ask for that when setting up a mobile data plan. It's also nice to have your Chinese address on hand in the event that they ask for that. It's actually pretty easy from there. Go into one of these stores, talk to the clerks, and let them know that you want to buy a Chinese phone with a Chinese SIM. Now let them know as well that you want it in English. Um, they, they know how to do this. They can change your phone into the international English settings and make sure they do it in front of you. Don't wait until you already bought the phone and you're like, oh man, I forgot how to do it. And then you're outside the store. It's just not good. Just do it inside the store, get it all knocked out there. Something I want to note, it doesn't hurt to ask them to add Google services onto your phone. They might be able to do it depending on the brand. So just let them know, hey, can I add Google services and Google Play Store so I can download apps from maybe America or the international market? And they may be able to do it on the spot. So after they showed you a couple phones and you decided which phone you want to buy and they, they changed the settings to English in front of you, then you ask them you want a mobile SIM. They usually take you to another counter where you have to present your passport and your address. And then they'll give you a mobile SIM card and let you choose a phone number that you want. And then you should be good to go after you do all the purchases. This whole process took me about 20 to 30 minutes for me to get my first Chinese phone and be ready to pay between 1,000 to 8,000 RMB depending on what kind of quality phone you want. Obviously, the better the quality, the more expensive the price. Now, what I like about getting a mobile phone through a service provider or retailer that I just mentioned is you can pay as you go. So once you get your mobile phone number and you get your WeChat set up, your WeChat pay, it, it can actually be set up as a pay as you need kind of feature. So an example would be, let's say I want 10 gigabytes and I purchase that on my phone. You can see in the example how I can purchase it through my phone. I just need my phone number and I can select how much data I want. Of course, the larger the data, the more expensive it'll be. Then at that point, let's say you're running short on data, you're almost out of data, you'll get notifications saying, hey, you need to pay your phone bill. If not, you're gonna be running out of data and you can't use your phone. And then you can just go back into WeChat and use the top-up service to go ahead and pay for your phone bill. It's very convenient and you can, depending on your data, you can pay every month, you can pay every two months, depending on how much data you use. The second example is if you're here for a very short period of time or if you just like using your, your home country phone, is getting a SIM card for your current phone. Now, some phones have two SIM card slots that you can use. My Chinese phone actually has two SIM card slots where I can use my American SIM card and my Chinese SIM card. But if you just want, if you just have one SIM card slot and you want to replace your home country SIM card with a Chinese SIM card, you can do that as well. Now let's say you landed in an airport. Typically you may find booths or vending machines that have SIM cards for sale. Some of the downsides that you may encounter with doing this method is when you purchase a SIM card, it'll give you a phone number. And then let's say you run out of data or, or the month ran out and you only bought it for a month. You may need to go to the same vending machine to buy another SIM card and get a whole new number. These SIM cards are mainly for very temporary stays in China that if you absolutely need a Chinese phone number to get in contact with Chinese companies. But if you go to another retailer store that I mentioned about getting an actual Chinese phone earlier, then you can just apply for a SIM card and not buy a new phone as well if you wish to do that. Something I recently learned is that let's say you have a Chinese phone with a Chinese SIM card and you want to leave China and go to another country you can actually in Tabao purchase international roaming for like a month or a week or two days or one day 
There's different options on Taobao. As long as you link it to your phone number, you'll get the same internet service in China as you would in another country. Let's say like if you're going to Italy or if you're going to Singapore or something like that. Pro tip I want to add is if you're very tech savvy and very thrifty or you want to save a lot of money, you can build your phone from scratch. There are markets in Shenzhen that you can build a phone knowing all the components and putting them together and not have to go to a store to buy one. I've never done this, nor do I plan on doing this. I might do it in the future, make a video about it. But right now, I don't think I have the technical expertise to do it. But it's out there and the parts are really cheap. And if you like, if you enjoy building phones, you can do that here. So now that you know the different kinds of phones you can buy, how to buy a SIM card and how to buy a Chinese phone, let me know what phone you want to buy in the comments down below. In my channel, I try to aim at foreigners that want to come and live in China and have a comfortable life. So if you want to see any more tips and tricks about living in China, consider hitting that subscribe button. If you gain value from this video, smash that like button too. And if you have any video ideas, questions, or concerns, go ahead and write them down in the comments below. Anyways, I'll see you next time.